Hello everybody, it's Philip from IAD1507 and this is our week two project video I'm talking about how we're going to implement achievements. And we were asked three questions. What type of system do we plan on using? As I have my own developer profile with Apple, I'll be using Game Center. It makes managing achievements very, very simple. And we can go ahead and take a look at that in just a moment. How many achievements do you plan on creating? Right now I do believe I have five. Let me confirm that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right now I have about five achievements, and the asteroid achievements from minor to baron to monarch actually are incremental, so it makes a good little transition. I might actually add more. Right now I just have the five. And then go over two example achievements and how the player will earn each one. Well, that's actually fairly simple. Let's go up here to our game center options. and come down to our achievements. Let's talk about the Asteroid Miner one first, for example. So here's our Asteroid Miner. There you go. Kill 30 Asteroids, you get a star. All right. Destroy 30 good-sized Asteroids in one game. So these are not the small Asteroids or the medium-smallish Asteroids. These are medium-large to larger Asteroids in one game. Now this is the only one that has a size constraint on it because it's such a low number. You should be able to do this if you play the game for about two to five minutes. Now, the other ones, such as Asteroid Baron, for example, you get 10 points for, and you just destroy 100 asteroids in one game. Why didn't I add the size constraint to that? It's actually very simple. Destroying 100 asteroids in one game is rather difficult because asteroids don't come out at the same rate as ships do. So this should take a while for you to complain. You need to actually survive for a while and end the space for this to happen. So let's talk about one more. Something non-asteroid related. How about Boss Killer? Bosses are fun in my game. You get 10 points for this one. Um, bosses are fun because they shoot randomly at the player, and they're kind of intelligent. They know where the player is somewhat going to be or at, and then they shoot in that direction. And it could be anywhere between one laser and seven lasers. You never know which one they're going to shoot at you. And in this case, you have to kill 10 bosses in one game, and you get 10 points. So one point per boss. Now the other boss ones like Boss Annihilator or Boss Slayer and things like that that I can add, those are going to also be hit based, so it's going to be difficult for you to kill 50 bosses in one game, for example, unless you're really good at dodging. Um, so I'll put some hit bases in there, like if you, you know, do like a thousand hits on a boss and something like that. Makes it a little bit easier for people to earn so it's not completely unrealistic. So as you can see, 10 kill bosses in one game, killed 10 bosses in one game as the post-achievement. You know, it's, it's actually fairly simple uh, of a concept. We have all those achievements added right here. And like last week, we've already added, like we did our leaderboards up here, we did our achievements down here. And when we go back to our app, iTunes Connect can be a little slow. But when we go back to our app, we can come down to the bottom here, and we can make sure that we add them in, and we're good to go. So other than that, that's it. Have a great week.